Hi friends, it's Ruth from the Wilmette Public Library here with a STEAM activity that you can do from home. Today, we're going to explore our bones. And to do this, um, you can use supplies you have around the house or you can stop by the library and pick up one of our pre-made STEAM kits that has the supplies inside. Let me show you what you need. Inside your bag, you'll find some black paper, a skeleton diagram, the x-ray of a hand, a bag of noodles, and a white crayon. So where are your bones located? That's right, inside your body. Bones are the hard parts that give our body shape and structure, and they help protect our organs like our brain and our heart. How would we look without bones? Probably a little soft and floppy like this glove, right? So bones are very important and they're very interesting. Did you know that bones come in all shapes and sizes? The largest bone is in your thigh and the smallest bone is inside your ear. So for today's challenge, we are gonna use these dried noodles as bones because just like bones, they come in all shapes and sizes. And our first challenge today is to explore the bones in your hand. Can you feel them in there? Let's start by checking out this x-ray of the hand. An x-ray is a powerful wave of energy that can pass through objects and be used to take pictures of your bones. There are 27 bones that make up your hand. Can you count all of them? And look how they fit together. It's almost like a puzzle. They're shaped like this so that your fingers can move and flex. Let's see if we can recreate the bones in our hand. Start by taking a piece of black paper Place your hand on it and outline it with the white crayon. Then you can either draw in the bones or use noodles to lay out the bones in your hand. For your second challenge, take another piece of black paper and let's see if you can use the noodles to build an entire skeleton. You're welcome to use the skeleton diagram that's included in the bag. Once you're finished, you can either glue your noodles in place or take them apart and build something new. What might a dog or a cat skeleton look like? Or a three-legged monster for that matter? It's fun to think about the structures inside things and it's definitely okay to be, have fun and be creative with this. Thanks for joining me today.